She's resilient, okay. a fighter, and caring. 29-year-old Megan Crotty has devoted her life to community <laughs> service. Growing up, it was just kind of normal if you're a Crotty or a firefighter. Um, it, I am a fifth generation firefighter. Um, spent so much time with my dad in the fire station growing up and uh, got involved myself as soon as I was able to. It seems she was destined for public Touching. service. It's a family affair. Um, so I'd, I'd say it's my dad that really drew me into it. And then growing up, my cousin getting involved too. He was my best friend. So we were always tagging along and learning everything we could. The day before she turned 18, Megan's cousin Mike lost his life to a fire. On April 8, 2008, there was a fire at Port Erie Plastics. Um, during that event, uh, the aerial ladder had a severe malfunction and it struck Mike in the head and killed him at the scene. That impacts her <laughs> to this day. Uh, it's something I still like honestly am dealing with. It's something I'll probably never get over. Her desire of service changed to medicine. She spent six years as a registered nurse, then decided to become a trauma surgeon. She's completing her final year of medical school at LeCom. Her road to med school, though, was a bumpy one. Two days after being accepted back in 2016, she was injured while fighting a fire. I was footing the base of a ladder, and the firefighter with the hose line at the top of the ladder was blown off due to a water hammer in the line, and he fell off at a pretty good speed and landed on my head. She had back surgery and worked hard to start medical school. It's been a long time coming, but she'll graduate in May 2020, ready to serve the world as a doctor of osteopathic medicine. And then I kind of took the scenic route to medical school and, you know, just continuing to persevere and learn more and chase my dreams no matter what. In Erie, Emma Rose Lewis, yourerie.com.